tonight from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014 as you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Cruz. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Seven carries, 52 yards. Are we playing old school football now? We've got the top 10 rusher in the league. He's sitting at number 10, but he has a chance to move up with a big time game. So expect that offensive line every time they go to the bench and tell the offensive coordinator, let's run the football. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. To throw is Garoppolo. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Garoppolo now, first down throw. So left side, it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Garoppolo, 23 yards, the final tally. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Hey Charles, we take a look at the 49ers draft class for 2021. They got their quarterback in Trey Lance, but it paid a hefty price to do it. Yeah, this is kind of an all-in strategy by head coach Kyle Shanahan and GM John Lynch. They won't have first-round picks for the next couple of years, but it would be worth it if they had found their quarterback in Trey Lance. As for the rest of the draft, I really like the pick of Aaron Banks in the second round, the guard out of Notre Dame. A team that loves to run the football. He's an absolute people mover at the line of scrimmage, as well as the running back at number 88 overall, Trey Sermon out of Ohio State. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Second and 10 from the 33 yard line. Looking to throw, Garoppolo throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. But now it's third down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Looking left side, and it's complete. Touchdown! It's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Now 
Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. This defense for the Packers, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 and on the young season. And while you can't actually see confidence rising in a unit, you feel like you can. And when you look at this team, you definitely think that it is because anytime you can tell your offense, just get us a couple of touchdowns, we got this thing locked down, that's when you know you're playing well. And this Green Bay defense making that play look a lot like the previous one. Both tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Well, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick, and they will set up shop at their own. They hand it off to Mostert. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. This is Mostert. Oh, good move. The Niners on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Play action. Garoppolo. He's going to air one out. And this will be incomplete. Both players with a shot at it that time, but neither coming away with it. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interesting. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll look to throw here. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 23 yards the pickup there. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. That's to the right side. Complete to Kittle. The Niners on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. Pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. He'll look to throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to it? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time I'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. Samuel bringing in the slant. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Back to throw again. The quick slant caught. Touchdown. Carter Landry, his fifth touchdown. Shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Over the middle, it's complete. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts. 
As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They're going to look to throw. Looking deep downfield. And this is incomplete. Well played defensively. Nearly had the interception. But it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles. And we will skip the highlights. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half and now seven on the game. Back to throw now on first down. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A very solid gain of 27. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They'll set up a throw. This one caught by Kittle. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 18. A nice pickup of 17 yards. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Now Garoppolo. Touchdown, 49ers! Three touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the 49ers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guy. First is Garoppolo. So left side, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 32 that time. I would say just add that one to the total big plays he's already made here in the first month of the year. You've got to think the front office and the coaching staff have got to be excited about what they've seen so far and really excited about what they expect to see down the road. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And this Green Bay defense making that play look a lot like the previous one. Both tackles behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Garoppolo looks to throw. Got his man. It's the veteran Landry. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. He'll drop to throw. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And he comes back with one complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Second and five now. Garoppolo. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Second TD. A play fake from Mostert. Now Garoppolo. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play. But he could not pull it in. Draw play. Garoppolo gives to Mostert. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Once again, it's Mostert. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. And you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Here's a throw right side, taken in by his tight end. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Garoppolo now. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Second down, here's Mostert again. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. 
Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. throw Garoppolo firing quickly here and that's complete only three yards there on the completion that So the victory here for San Francisco, and they've got to feel good about this performance. I think you'd agree. Matched up against a top five defensive unit in the league, and they pretty much had their way. Yeah, that was, that was the interesting part about it because normally when we see this defense play, they have their opportunities, and they make their plays, don't they? They knock them back on their heels. They take the ball away. They, they change field position. In this case, what you said is so apt. They had their way with them, took it to them, and knocked them back on their heels.